trying to take off. Okay everybody, this video, this is about a, an issue I was having with this mini tricopter after upgrading to the Naze 32 with INAV 1.1. It's an issue that it seems that it is very common in tricopters, but um, you don't find that much videos in on YouTube. Uh, explaining how to solve it and I'm about to tell you what issue I'm talking about and how to solve it so first of all the issue is the tricopter is configured everything seems to be okay but as soon as you try and fly it as soon as you push the throttle stick up it will start spinning around like crazy and won't stop so, for now, if you see, I have, I have my, my radio set and I can show you here, I can show you here, if I go into reverse, you can see that my channel 4 is reversed and so, that is why when I move the rotor stick to the right the servo tilts to the left and when I move the rotor stick to the left the servo tilts to the right well so far so good this seems to be um, this seems to be okay everything is working fine it should go the opposite way and it is going so everything is fine well let me tell you it's not and I'll show you in a minute why it is not. Okay. First thing you'll notice is that when you go to warm your tricopter, usually on INAV and clean flight to warm it with the sticks, you must push the stick, this one, the rotor stick, all the way to the right. And if I do that, as you can see, the servo tilts the other way, everything's okay, but it will not arm it will simply not harm so you have to turn it the other way around you have to push it all the way down to the left and like this it will arm see it armed I thought that was a bit weird but you know I didn't I didn't take that very seriously but right now if I go and try to fly it you'll see what happens See, it starts spinning crazy fast and then to disarm to this side, which is not normal. So now let's take it inside and I'll show you how to fix this. So you've seen what happens, it starts spinning around like crazy fast and the only way to fix this is, you're gonna go to your radio and you're gonna go inside your settings reverse you're gonna go to channel 4 and right now it is reversed you'll remove the reverse and then you'll save those settings okay on your radio everything is pretty much done now but now if you plug power to the tricopter what will happen is, let me just plug power here it's kinda tricky with just one hand but uh, okay if you go and plug power now you'll see that when you turn the rudder to the right the servo tilts to the right when you turn it to the left the, self, the servo tilts, tilts tilts to the left so 
This is wrong, so wrong. You, you've reversed your radio and now it's even worse. Well, let me tell you, it is not. This is the right way to be. Now what you have to do is just set your radio aside. You can unplug all this. Set your radio aside. Just plug your tricopter to clean flight or I'm using INAV 1.1 because this the software I have here is INAV. Okay, just plug it in. Now what I'm gonna do is very simple. Just go to INAV configurator, connect. Once it has connected, go down to CLI. You'll open CLI tab as you see here. Let me try and show you a better view. And you're gonna type down, you're gonna type dump. Type dump and hit enter. And then all these things will show up. And you're gonna scroll up and you're gonna find one which says this one right here you're gonna find one which says servo 5 1000, 2000, 1500, 100 so you're gonna copy that you're gonna copy that copy and then you're gonna go down to the line where you can write you're gonna paste it and once you've pasted once you've pasted that, you're gonna go to where it says 100 here and you're gonna put a minus before that 100. Minus. So now, this is what you'll end up with. Servo 5, 1000, 2000, 1500, 90, 90, minus 101 and you'll hit, you'll hit enter. Okay, enter. As soon as you hit enter, this is what you get. Now you're gonna type in save. Save, and you're gonna hit enter again to save it. And it's gonna say saving and reboot. Okay, and right now, if you go to the tricopter again and you plug your radio on right now you'll be able to see that once again without without messing with the channels in the radio if you turn the ser the throttle uh, the rudder stick to the right the servo will tilt left and if you turn it to the left the servo will tilt right it's correct so now this is okay now everything is done and it's supposed for it to fly very well so now let me show you once again outside how it goes right now it will fly I won't say good because it needs a bit of tuning but at least it will fly without spinning crazy spinning around like a crazy uh, bee okay now that everything was changed and set correctly as you can see if I if I move the rudder, the yo stick to the left, the servo tilts right. And if I move it to the right, the servo tilts left. Right now, to warm it, it works correctly. I push it all the way to the right, and it should arm. That's it, it arms. If you push it to the left, it disarms. Now, let's arm it. And now it should fly. Okay. not spinning around like crazy anymore. I have a low battery, but as you can see right now it is flying okay. See? I'm not gonna push it because I have a low battery, but as you could see, this is the right setting right now it flies okay. Hope this helps. I had a, a big issue with this. Uh, but finally I figured out <laughs>
Okay.